Crossplay is coming to Monsanto Wilds. Let's get into this. So guys, during the games event, game show, whatever it's called, one of the first things that we also talked about was the fact that yeah, Crossplay is confirmed. I actually went on the website and I actually confirmed this myself. I'm gonna show you this pop up on the screen right now. You should see. Yeah, Crossplay is confirmed over all platforms. That's amazing. I'm gonna be playing on PC and I can play my friends on PS5. Uh, PS whatever Xbox that's gonna be great that's amazing to know that we can have that and it does make sense nowadays to have that type of feature but now let's talk about the trailer like my boys you don't know how bored I was waiting in that showcase the showcase was so long every second we were like it's monster on here it's monster on here and when it finally showed up I was getting hyped I was ready I was so ready and what they showed looked good the graphics looked good the environments look good, the monsters look amazing, they look ugly, they look, like, they look like they're gonna devour you and I like that. Things in general look nice, the combat is hard to say so far until I get a feel on it, but they said there's gonna be another event later in the year and there's actually gonna be some gameplay there, so we'll actually see some people playing hopefully and we'll get some opinions from them. But yeah, it was great, we got to see the Baha Lava, probably butchered that name right then and then we saw the flagship i don't know if you guys noticed i mean hopefully you noticed the monster you losing the, f the lightning you know i love lightning it's my favorite element so it's cool to see that it's a lightning monster it's a shame that it is probably going to be an elder dragon yeah that's a big shame i was hoping for a snake raven i know a lot of you were hoping for a snake raven or something different insects you know bird raven something different rather than the elder or flying but then in the end they went for a flying elder which I guess, yeah, they really rubbed it in. Maybe it's not the flagship, but it kind of looks like it, to be honest. So, yeah, we'll see. The body design looks like Gormagala. It really does. It's quite interesting. It definitely reminds me of Gormagala and Shaogu, obviously. But this one doesn't have any arms. It just has wings. So, it's, the body is also kind of like Astalos in, in that aspect. So, yeah, I'm very excited. I want to see more. I need to see more. Come on, guys. Like, this is good. It's a good start. Cosplay is amazing. The graphics are looking good, the things are looking good. I'm gonna play this on PC, I can't wait to see more, but I really need to see how this game plays. But I guess I won't be able to know until I get my hands on it myself. It was cool to see the Bala Havas run after this woman, the, the hunter, the hunter woman and the other guy running after them. It was cool, it was nice. And it definitely seems like the big one was the boss. Um, and there's loads of probably small ones as well in the area of running around. At first I wasn't sure if it was a big monster, a large monster, a small monster, because there were so many of them. Well, as you probably saw in one of the shorts I did recently, it seems like there's going to be things called hunting packs where monsters are hunting in packs together in a train some sort. So maybe we might see packs where we actually see many large monsters running together, which, which should be amazing, you know. It could be deadly. I don't know how the game's going to work gameplay-wise, and that's why I'm a bit worried about gameplay, but we won't know until we get there. So yeah, let's wait. But that's everything from me guys let me know what you think down below comment like subscribe you know watch some of my other videos if you like you know there's gonna be some videos at the end of this where i'll be linking to some of my um, other videos where we talk about monster Hunter recently 